and welcome back to Cobra Classics and our restoration project of a 1969 BSA Starfire. BSA had been producing uh, single cylinder engines from about 1938 and had been slowly developing them through the ages right up until 1967 uh, where this model came into play, the BSA Starfire. It was also used in the Triumph TR25 as well, exactly the same engine. Uh, basically, for the Starfire, a few things had been upgraded. Uh, there had been a special crankshaft put into it uh, to help with vibration. There had been duplex uh, chain drive here, again, to help with the power, and a slightly higher compression on the uh, piston and cylinder head. On our model here, we have uh, had all the casings aqua blasted and checked for cracks and any other defects. The internals we have uh, obviously changed bearings and seals and anything else that needed done to it. Uh, but apart from, uh, as I say, the, the obvious things, this engine was in fairly good internal condition and it will be almost ready to fit into the bike in the coming weeks. And uh, really there's not a lot else to do to it apart from the outer casings which we will be polishing up at a later stage and getting fitted. I'll move on to the uh, carburetor. Uh, the concentric ammo carburetor, which again has been aqua blasted, new needles and new jets and new floats have been put into this. So again, we're, we're, we're trying to keep it as authentic as possible using original ammo parts, but obviously everything has been checked and uh, tested to make sure we're not going to run into problems later on down the line. So, as I say, over the next wee while, you'll see this getting into the frame and uh, moving on from there. We've had quite a few questions over the weeks about our project. Uh, one of them that seems to crop up uh, time and again is the fitting of the swinging arm especially the silent block bushes. Uh, quite a few people have been asking, one, how do we get them out? And two, how do we get them back in again? To get them out, the, the best and probably the only way is to actually burn them out, is to use a blowtorch and melt the rubber, the internal rubber. Take out uh, the internal bush, the metal bush, uh, take it out. The other one is quite tight inside the swinging arm so you need to finally cut it out at, at uh, one edge and then work it out from there. Uh, it's quite a difficult job and uh, especially with the rubber if you're melting rubber use some sort of mask or plenty of ventilation because it can be quite uh, toxic. For refitting them again the best way is to either fit them singly using a, a length of threaded bar which you can screw in and say do them one side at a time. The other way to do it is to put it into a large vise and press them in or if you've got access or have somebody has access to um, a, a bearing uh, device uh, that'll put pressure on it, use that. Uh, the bearing press is actually probably the easiest and best way to do it if you can. Uh, but as you can see we have it in here and I say if you have any more questions you can get in touch with us through the usual channels, through your Twitter, through our Facebook, etc, etc. And don't be afraid to ask any questions about what's going on and we'll try and get back to you as soon as we can. So remember to like our video, um, subscribe to our channel and remember to turn notifications on. I'll see you next time for how this project develops.